Hello, 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 my beautiful friends, my most special, amazing YouTube family. Welcome, welcome everyone, it's Marta here. I'm super happy to welcome you in another video. At uh, this time, how many of you remember World Challenge, Maremi World Challenge, another package that it is probably waiting, wow, for the past year, I'd say. I have been swamped with amount of um, parcels being shipped to me and the size of it. That's why it is taking far much longer than I would hope. But I think it's never too late. It's never wrong to even go with the challenge later on. I hope our sender Dawn uh, from Australia doesn't mind. And here is your package. It has been waiting very long. Oh, I see beautiful packing already happening here. I really hope we will be able to make a project today with that. Let's see what's going on here. Oh my, my, my. <gasps> Things are happening here. I think this should be like that. Let's see what's inside. If you're not familiar with the challenge, um, over a year ago, oh, just <laughs> over a year ago, um, I have I had an idea to actually, oh, to actually. I have asked if someone would like to send a tiny envelopes with a few bits and pieces in so it's gonna be a challenge to make a project and yes some of you and tons of you have sent something but some of you have sent so much thank you very very much like this one it's a huge parcel and so I have been a little bit overwhelmed let's put it this way look at it oh I cannot wait I cannot wait there is a card as well let me have a look Oh, there's a card. Oh, yes, it's from Australia. Let me have a look inside myself first. Uh, is there anything written? Oh, there are two cards like that, two blanks. Oh, thank you so much. Let me have, there's a little letter. I hope, Don, you are watching. Oh my God, I'm so excited to be doing this in my vintage <laughs> years. Um, I have always been a crafter and so and do so every day, uh, finding your channel and learning a new craft, a new craft called mixed media. I was hooked. I have fast become a hoarder, haha, <laughs> like all of us. I'm sharing some of my stash. Hope you uh, don't mind. Didn't buy anything new. Thank you, lovely lady, in sharing your knowledge. Um, ups and downs and most of you thank you thank you thank you oh that's so cute thank you so very much Don. now we will be definitely making some project here today I'm very excited about it let's see what we have we have let's start from the papers we have some beautiful gorgeousness papers uh, I'm glad that you have shared your stash oh look at that cutie that you didn't actually purchase anything but we all have so much stash that we can certainly share look at them beautiful I would love to have them in my garden. Oh, how pretty is that? Oh, different papers you have chosen. Really nice. This one is a nice and thick paper. I think there are two. Yes. There we go. Maybe some card we're going to do today. I don't know. Definitely something quite exciting. Oh, I love that vintage paper. And another one. Love them. Love them. Love them. Ah, it's gonna be it's gonna be very exciting very different oh, I love the the bits and pieces that I see here of the map and all I have no clue what's that I have no clue what's that is it like for texture oh it's embossed for a texture how awesome is that wow it's from embossing folders I think all of that it's feely feely touchy <gasps> this is so much fun wow wow I love it and the actual bits and pieces oh we should do some collage guys how about that oh wow all of these beautiful do you know guys we're gonna do collage I think we're gonna do collage today it feels like a collage mixed media collage or like, oh look at this shiny paper 
Now, wow, oh, this is lovely for the male card, a little bit of Christmassy feel to some. Wow, I love them. Thank you so very much for sending over so many beautiful goodies. And there's more, actually. Wait for that. Um, we have some more papers. Let's have a peek. Oh, I love this one. Two bits, those two. I'm going to put them aside just for now. Wow. Oh, this one as well. I'm a vintage fan, as you know. Wow, how cute is that? I don't know if it's a paper, if it's a part of something, but it's certainly very beautiful and exciting. Oh, I love that. It's from all the books. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Wow, from book or maybe from some magazine? I don't know. College vintage with papers. Oh, I think it could be from a magazine. That is so pretty. I mean, super pretty. I love them. There's, oh no, I thought there's a cardboard. I thought there's another paper. I love that as well. I love, love, love it. Let's move on. I think it would be really nice to use the paper dolls as well. We have some gorgeous Amphara as well. I see different bits and pieces. Look at them. How many of them? Guys, you have outdid it yourself with... <laughs> packing so many gorgeousness things. I absolutely love them. Wow. I can only imagine right now quick ATCs with these. All of these are so pretty. Wowee. Look at them. Oh, this is so... <laughs> I'm recently, as you know, very much into dolls, paper dolls and all. So <laughs> this is very in my liking. Let me just put these back for now. Let me just... Ah! have a look at the rest what's hiding here now there we go there we there we go now <laughs> there is so many to play with so many to play with I'm gonna put these aside for now these we have looked through. We have some gorgeous, absolutely... Oh, that's so much fun! I love that. This is a gorgeous lace selection. We have some fabrics as well. Oh, I love that. I'm very short with fabrics in general. I don't have too many, so that's lovely. We have some gorgeousness washi and we have some elements. That could actually mean as well a little bit of a, a little bit of 3D project. There's so many to choose from. I'm actually speechless right now. And we have these. That's so cute. And something else. I love making sun catchers. <gasps> what? No way. Oh, and there's a pen as well. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Is this a handmade sun catcher? Oh my, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I don't even see it fully yet, but I know because I love these kind of things. Oh, wow. I'm going to hang that in my garden. I love this. Thank you so much. How beautiful. And there's one more. I'll give it to Emily. I'm sure she will love to have it in her window. Look at them too. Oh my, my, my. I absolutely adore this. Thank you so very much, Dawn. These are absolutely gorgeous. <gasps> sand, sand catchers. Who would thought? Wow. You hang them. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, I'm going to take a break. Oh, no, there's something else in here. There are some vintage... Um, oh, these are so pretty. Some gorgeous um, postcards. Wow. This is so lovely. This is so lovely. I have to say, this is a challenge. <laughs> wow. Everything I see here, it's a challenge, but I have a tiny idea tiny idea. Let me pause the video, get everything ready, put my mind into it and I'll be right back to you. Back to you. Back to you and I was thinking that mm, I'm not gonna be superly hugely preparing myself because I will be actually going with the flow. I was thinking Marta, challenge yourself with all the bits, try to create something that will be like, how can I tell you this? 
mm, try to create a project, Marta, that will incorporate as many really random things because, um, I, I, in fairness, all of these are beautiful, but in a way, uh, how can you play it nicely and rightly? And I was thinking about one thing. I'm going to create a project, uh, create a background, I'm thinking, background that I will dab a little bit with gesso. And that way I will be able to kind of bring everything together and we're going to play with the paper, we're going to play with those straws, we're going to play with the fabric as well, with the lace that is here and the carbon. So I'm going to, and the magazine there, I'm going to try to really incorporate as much as possible and create a very much um, collagey dimensional layers project canvas but it's not canvas it's a wooden panel because I have it wooden panel so I'm gonna start off by using my glue my print stick and just have a, a background whatever background now this print stick it, it is available in USA as well it's hugely expensive so I wouldn't suggest you to get one because my friend was checking it it's like a huge difference it's awesome glue I bought it for can't remember the price I, w I bought it in a very reasonable price in local store here in, here in Ireland on Amazon it's hugely expensive but I have a pick it's called Jumbo Pritt Stick because I know you have been asking me about it and maybe it try, it try eBay or local store basically so do you know what I'm gonna just try to have a play and see and also see if this actually glue is gonna stick my papers and I'm gonna do a basically I'm gonna do um, a really random background guys I mean seriously as random as I can go and trying to use as much as I can and trying to really yeah trying to really play and see what can I actually make with all of these mediums like gesso will definitely be a huge help because they will be so I'm doing collage right now so definitely it, it's gonna be very helpful because it will be kind of bringing everything together so it's gonna be handy let's see that mm-hmm what else we have here this is gorgeousness so I'm gonna try to have this somehow or maybe I just exactly maybe I'll just glue down like this and see and cut it away or something maybe mm, we shall see something like that okay so no plan here whatsoever there's no plan there's no plan at all except let's just have fun let's try to think outside the box let's try to really be uh, unique in its feel you know in unique in what we what we have here so I'm gonna concentrate on layers as well layering and creating at the focal point oh actually this could be awesome as well I forgot about these and but this means I'm gonna have to um, mm, very much uh, add the actual um, gesso but that's okay too you know that's okay too I think I'm gonna just jump in for that so we will have this very much 3d I love it already <laughs> I love it already I uh, look it's do you know jump for the challenge <laughs> dive in that's what I'm doing right now literally diving in I've no clue what I'm doing but I'll get there, I'll get there, okay so that's what we have for now maybe a little bit more of a glue there happening mm -hmm. and if there is anything sticking out we can as well take scissors and just try to cut it or so a bit yeah if it feels, or we can get a sandpaper and just have it sanded as well I think that's how it was, now what's next Marta? What else we have here? We have gorgeous and fair and all. <clears throat> so let's concentrate on one thing. Let's find pieces in color scheme that are vintage. So let's say we go for brown, like this one. More. Oh, both of them. We go for browns. Uh, 
yeah I'd say that will be the easiest you can't oh this is perfect you can't use everything but you can try to use as much as you can so let's try that these are interesting wow tickets or something I love them absolutely <laughs> uh, may, may, maybe not necessarily tickets these are maybe no maybe some ticket Australia post post I don't know but I love it <laughs> whatever that means it looks like tickets to me but I love them okay so here it is that's for now what we have I'm gonna put these aside as well um and two seconds because Emily sent me a photo and I need to check it out because she's picking up from a pr place called her sister yeah exactly back to you I have some cardboard I have a cardboard because I'm thinking to actually attach these to my project somehow <laughs> I have some plan believe it or not I have some plans I'm thinking to do a little bit of a 3D-ish oopsie 3D-ish 3D-ish form in here so I'm thinking to maybe add this like that and lace as well maybe this one the gold one and I'm always if I choose any lace I would always go for bright colors because it's easier to color it pink than have it pink if you know what I mean so if you don't have any lace and you're wondering should I buy it what should you buy it and stuff like that I suggest you to maybe have a try and have um, I like that have actually maybe think of purchasing more of a common colors not common like a basic colors I'd say oh this is lovely and I'm gonna add it maybe with hot glue gun I wonder if you're curious of the outcome of this project as I am because it is quite quite challenge I'd say challenge but that's good challenge is good challenging is good I'm gonna glue this one here and no I have no idea what I'm doing but I'm hoping it's gonna be gorgeous I'm hoping for some layers I'm hoping for some um, some sort of combination of paper lace 3D-ish feel oh this is so pretty how is that slowly isn't it started starting to look a lot like Christmas no <laughs> okay I'm thinking to add this layer as well and actually this one to make it 3D ishy like something like that there we go so it's even more standing out why not and maybe same for this one I'm gonna maybe actually add a little bit of a little bit of cardboard here something like that Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there we go and maybe like this and hot glue that's nice okay so we have this now I just wonder if I'll jump in with maybe gesso in it more so this would be more yes it's gonna be gorgeous you will see it guys you will see it trust my trust my feelings well I'm not too convinced too sure of what I'm doing but I hope I'm going somewhere here how about adding even more or not wait da -da -da. there we go 
No. Yes, I'm, I think I'm going to jump in for this lace first. Mm-hmm. Silicone brush, makeup, silicone makeup brush if you're wondering what I'm using. I've been gifted, I have two now, I've been gifted these by my friends here on YouTube. Okay. <clears throat> oh wow, this is so pretty. It's my first 3D project since months. So I, if I'm <laughs> off my <laughs> regular feel then that's because I seriously haven't done mixed media of this sort in, in a very long time. Since a very long time, but that's okay. I think it's great to give it a try. Jump in and... Wow, I like that. Hot glue. Jump in in here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I think I'm gonna go for similar feel of the white mm -hmm. how about some sprays maybe we do we will use a little bit of spray maybe some brown spray maybe we do this more of a vintage really feel okay Mm -hmm. Super. Okay. Now, that's great. I am thinking we have this gorgeousness lace and also the edges. <clears throat> the edges in white. Like this kind of distressed look. I seriously can't remember when was the last time I've created mixed media, 3D mixed media project. I forgot how it is. <laughs> so this can be very much, um, <laughs> I don't know what's gonna be. I don't know, I actually don't know what's gonna be. Oh, we need some glue there for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. And a spatula will help. No. I love that. Okay. Now, imagine... Actually, two seconds. <laughs> there were some more gorgeousness papers. Will we? Shall we use a part of it? I think so. Oh, this is beautiful. We could have it like this, for example. <clears throat> no, I also have these, which we could. Yeah, I think we can just glue it down. I think we can just jump in and blow it down. Yes, I actually stopped speaking at Hannah is in the in the um, summer camp today, her second day, and she is she's been collected by Emily and her friends. Emily is really <laughs> growing. She is helping out and she's really she said it herself, can I collect her today? So, no problem. It's very near home and also um, and she went with friends, so that's, you know, <laughs> better two of them minding a three year old, three and a half years old. <laughs> um, but yes, they are great with each other, so we have no problems. She, they already texted that they're safe and sound walking. She has a lollipop just to keep her happy and in case she she will say, oh, I'm not going <laughs> or something like that. This is gorgeous and I'm going to even add more of this gorgeousness lace if you don't mind on top of that actually so yes we've <laughs> we had few ideas of how to make sure that the walk will happen <laughs> you know the small tricks that you do um but yes emily is such a 
such a great help and such a such a lovely girl she's growing she into she's proper teen but a good teen as I say that she's teen but she's she's great <coughs> Today we're gonna actually go on the. She knew I'm recording and I'm, you know, at it like she like it's my third video today. Um, so she that's why she said, "Mommy, I can go and collect hers." She knew that it would be great to give me a few more minutes. And also, Lucas is working out. So yes, it's all about balance in life and finding right solutions, right moments, and just take as as it is. I guess. And they, I think they went for some ice creams, maybe. <laughs> it's glorious today. It's like, I don't know, 21 or more degrees. I have no clue even how much, but it's a lot. Like, this is beautiful. I love it very much. We have some flowers. We can try to incorporate these. If I can open them up. They're a different color than the actual project. That's okay. That's okay too. <clears throat> we can paint it over maybe as well and spray it, you know, and help it out with the spray. Maybe I don't know. We shall see. Um, what else, Marta? I've said about these things, so I may just have a few of these glue down with the hot glue. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Super. And maybe one more. Maybe the Yeah. Oh oh. <laughs> Don't burn yourself. Now that's lovely. I will certainly paint them over with some color. With white, I mean. <laughs> That's easy to guess. I just wanted to say that I'm slowly in the back in the groove <clears throat> for mixed media. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, so maybe, um, yeah, I think it's like you don't forget. At, in the end of the day, you, you do not forget. It's like, it's with you. If you love it, it's with you. It's like riding a bike, right? Or a car. You just don't forget these things. It may take a moment to adjust, but you you don't forget it. Like I think I'm gonna jump in for some hot glue gun here. A little straws there. Maybe one more actually there. Mm hmm. Because I will be over coloring them, I'm choosing the lightest color, like r light pink rather than the other pink. Just a little tip for you to to maybe know of why and how. This is why. It's easier to over paint, I guess, um, the, the bright pink than the, than the darker pink. I'd say, okay, wow, I love that. I think these straws are super popular in mixed media as well, and they're great just um, if your color maybe it's not exactly as you wish. There you go, overpaint, try to overpaint that, which I'm gonna do now. So let's see. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> Easy peasy. Now, even more. And I'd say I'm gonna just try to as well um, spray it in a minute. So, what do you think? I love that. I do love that. I do love that. A little bit more of these. <coughs> Now this aside, this aside, let's see what else we have here. Oh, I forgot to use this one. And these two I forgot as well, but it's not too late to use them, actually. Mm -hmm. Out loud thinking. <coughs> Oops. 
see. Let's see. Oh, this one is fun maybe. He could sit on these. Oh, that is so nice. Oh, I see that my battery is running low, so I'm going to change that. I'll be right back. Right back to you. Here I am. I have a few sprays just to see, just to see which colors we're going to go for. He needs to definitely sit. I think I need to glue this tiny bit better. So I'm going to grab my grab my hot glue hot glue somewhere there and hope yeah I hope it's gonna hold it better okay I'm gonna just hold it for now and I'm thinking to look around even more and see if I can squeeze anything else there add anything else oopsie there we go now I just wonder if what is here and this oh these are so pretty this is like oh, a tiny boxes. This is so pretty. Pre done boxes, no way. Is it like oh wow, I love it. And you can just close them like this. How cute. I'm gonna actually leave them them because they're so perfect for gift, like for Emily to give her something tiny here, like cash. <laughs> Or some jewelry. Thank you, I love them. I'm gonna put these aside, literally hide them now. <laughs> um, this is nice. It's a tag tag. Very nice. I'm it's gonna be it's gonna be perfect for actually altering this as it is because it's very sturdy and nice. Nice color scheme, not so as yet. Hmm. Let's have a look more. We have this. Oh, I didn't notice that. We have some elements here. I'm curious about one thing. This. Sorry for the extra noises. This is so awesome. It's like wings. I love it. <laughs> Imagine, I'll leave that, i leave that. Anyway, I'm gonna, do you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna move things aside a bit. Have, have a little bit of play now with the, with the actual color. We have to see which direction this project is going, right? So we need a little bit of white as well, I guess. Maybe white delusion. That's handy. A little bit of water. Super. And now let's jump in with a little bit of yellow maybe somewhere. And we have some brown as well. <laughs> let's see. Maybe yellow first. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking and hoping that this will beautifully oh I didn't do it for too long <laughs> I have to say for far too long this is gorgeous now now I don't know this color it's a uh, sienna I, I think I've used to love this color am I right yes possibly but you know what I'm gonna be brave and just ah, yes if it's gonna work at all oh I love that hello there now we have some other brown which I'm gonna check it out as well oops <laughs> it will be handy to oh, I like that but I do miss black ish color that oh oh orangey tone wow where's this coming from I love it and yellow back again wow now we definitely need a tiny touch of water to kind of move it around love it we need tiny touch of white back again here <gasps> love that and black if I have a black or a gray I'm gonna have a pick here near me if I have any grayish -y. I do have some sort of blackish grayish chalk gray 
So let's have a look. Ah! Oh, I love it. It's not too dark. <gasps> Gorgeous. Wow. And let's have a little bit of a water. Oh, wow. I love you. Now, I don't know where's the... Oh, he's here. <gasps> it's going to be gorgeous. Let's dry this just for now. This cardboard is handy, <laughs> isn't it? It is very handy. Oh, I love how the color is mixing here. Beautiful. Where is that color? Is it that orange? No. This brown. Maybe a tiny touch of that brown. Oh wow, here is gorgeous. And gray, touch of gray. Ooh, Marta, you're so brave with your spraying. <laughs> I didn't spray for so long, for far too long. And I'm gonna do some white splashes as well when it's done, done, done. Wow. And now I'm gonna add tiny more white because I love white and here as well and here why not? water, I'm just spraying with water just to see what's going on mm -hmm. I love the milky feel to it wow I'm gonna try that and I'll be back to you. I think I'm gonna just maybe clean this type. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Something like that, I guess. Where is it? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Jovely. I'll be right back. Mm, I have to say it feels so nice, so good to be back to this kind of mixed media. I have avoided it for a good few months, not weeks, months. I think it's good. I think it's good to take a break, guys. I think we kind of um, feel that we should, I don't know, that we, it's like that we have to do things or we should or we, uh, no, I think it's good to just take a break and if it feels like taking a break, that's fine, just, just do it. So I'm going to just add tiny touches of gesso in places just to kind of highlight, but also when I was drying, you can see that some papers, even the lace, it kind of lift up, which I didn't mind. I even helped it out, helped it up, helped it up. There's no word like that. I helped it a, li a, a tiny bit um, so that everything is more kind of dimensional feel. Now, as you can see, this is should be dry when you gesso ink. When you add dry gesso, like <clears throat> what I'm doing now, everything should be super dry so it's not gonna stain your uh, brush. Um, yeah, that's a good thing to do. <laughs> but because these are watercolor, um, like a w water based sprays they will react with water reactivate with gesso because gesso is water based so anyway but I love it as it is now one thing I would love to use is I'm gonna grab some white splashes and I have this calligraphy ink and I think I'm gonna use this for my white splashes let's see if it's gonna work or not it's my new product that I have uh, been testing out for the splashes actually and let's see if it's gonna, you know, work and... Oh, it's very white. I've been testing out recently all my white products. Actually, probably when you're watching today's video, yeah, it is on the channel, I'd say. I would imagine. So check it out. I'm thinking to concentrate now more white splashes in those places here. And I'm gonna jump in for black splashes here in the darker areas. I love the coloring here. Clap handies, Marta, because you had a good break from it. And I'm, I think I'm doing pretty well. I'm loving it. Thank you for sending the goodies and kind of making it happen. Because without your supplies, you know, it wouldn't be the same. <laughs> so I think it's lovely. This way, I'm going to now grab some black. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably I'm going to grab my black, my black, this one, the actual... Um, no, I'm gonna dry this first a little bit 
so they won't um, contaminate each other, the black and the white. Mm -hmm. A little bit, at least a little bit. There we go. There we, there we go. Okay, that will do. And I need a tiny brush. Another tiny brush, maybe this one. Oh, yeah, it's not that black as I would imagine. But take your time, Marta. Oh, it's better. So, you, I, oh, they're here. Hi. <laughs> the girls are here, back. Now I'm thinking. Oh, yes. Oh, the door is closed. Lucas will open them up. So I'm thinking to add black where the darkness is more. <clears throat> and more splashes in black in those areas. I think I need a tile. <laughs> I'd say we can have a visitor in a minute. <laughs> Now let's see that. Oh, love, love, love. Okay. Tiny tornado. Hi. Hi. Did you have a lollipop? Did you? Did you have a lollipop? Yeah. Hi. I did eat all my lunch. Did you? Yeah. How was school? Dobrze? Good? Pain. You can. <laughs> what is this? I've missed you. What is this? This is a straw. I've missed you. To drink? To drink. I've missed you. Can I have some water? You can. How, how are you? And I can drink water. Is it dry now? You can. I've missed you like <laughs> two times. Tons of times. I squirrely. Look, your drink is here, Hannah. Would you like to have a little drink with a straw? You can have a straw here. There you go. Thank hold you. on. Oh, you ha I think you have to hold it on because it's too small. Oopsie! You grab another one. I get you another one. <laughs> a big one. Uh, no, I don't have a big one. They all are so small, Hannah. You just have to hold it on. Hold it on. There you go. Hold on. Hold on. And a drink. I've missed you. It's so good to see you. Was it fun? Like loads of fun. Do you want to come back there tomorrow? Hanya? Yeah. Would you like to come back there tomorrow? Yeah. Awesome. Good girl. I'm, I'm nearly finished so I'll be right back to you in like five minutes or so. Okay. Let's move these things aside. Let's grab our project without the cardboard. Let's see. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> As Emily says, fancy. Oh, thank you. Thank Wait, you. Can you cut? Huh? Cut some of this paper. In a <laughs> yes, in a minute. I'll promise I will. Let me just finish this one. Where's the gentleman? Where are you? Oh, I think the whole the whole gang should sit there. Is there another one gentleman sitting? There is! There's two of them! Small and a big! Why not? Hi guys! And we can have some maybe warding? Uh, like, let me... You can have a look at them, Hannah. Um, let's see. I cut it. I will cut it. Uh, uh, passion... I will now. <laughs> you want now? I, I can imagine. With you in mind... Take what it's given to you. All of them are so amazing. Stay strong. Um, but something that will match up to these boys. Take what's given. Curiosity. Travel the world. Take <laughs> Can I take? Can I have a video with you? Hannah, please leave it. No, no, no. Leave the chair for now. Leave the chair for now. <laughs> because it's full of stuff. And you need to be careful. Because I don't want today is full of possibilities. All of them are so nice. Lucky is a state of mind. The beauty is within you. Let's have a look even more. Live for a moment. Take what's given. Some of them are the same. Learn to fly. Stay strong. Live for the moment. Okay, I think I found the right one. It's the documented. I think it works. 
great for them both and I'm still thinking that yeah it is beautiful as it is I absolutely love it I think they look they look great together I just still wonder do we need another one or I know this one is bigger than other like taller or yeah oh I think I can actually maybe sit like, like this why not a little bit like that okay Emily took Hannah on trampoline Emily is the best she knows she really is like she just knows uh, when to step in you know okay so I'm gonna add that be careful with the hot glue guys please 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 no actually I think I may be better off if I cut some touch of some bit of there we go just to make this a little bit stronger here oh there we go now and one more maybe he could also have a little bit of cardboard no. mm -hmm. now there you go and maybe okay maybe like this I'm trying to see that is so much fun. They are so great. I'm just thinking that I need a little, something that will actually, there we go, help it out and document it. Will work super here, I think. And one thing that comes to my mind is to have a peek in my die cuts if I have, <clears throat> excuse me, if I have any. Oh, I love that. If I have any to put on, like, 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 hat or something, let me have a look. Back to you with my drawer. Um, I have tons of things here. Fossy cut that could be so cute. Uh, the only thing is that maybe this hat is teensy, teensy too big. Is it the same one? I'd say it is. <laughs> Do you know what? Even with the too big, maybe I'll still leave it. Not the color, maybe different color. <laughs> I think it is fun. Um, but I just need tiny different color, a tiny smaller. I'll see if I can find it. There's plenty of them in here. Let's see. I think most of them are bigger than that size. These are the die cuts, um, the digital papers from my store, all of these, if you're wondering, where did you get these, Marta? These are from the store. <laughs> um, I'll give you the link below, of course. Now, how about this one, orange one? Because it's more into this color scheme. Oh, yes. <laughs> mm. And... <clears throat> I've speak, it's my third video today, so I've lost my voice yet again from speaking to you uh, too much in one day. And uh, this is crazy because it's like this still recovering from, do you remember? I'm not gonna add it, but I just want to have a look. <laughs> uh, this is just recovering, you know, do you remember from my bad chest and chest and cough infection, whatever that was, I actually don't know till today it's fixed thankfully but oh I love that one maybe we can swap he can have this huge one <laughs> um we don't know till today like what happened but indeed it was <laughs> I just I'm sorry if any of you feel that this is over the I love I just love it too much I love this now and we need tiny hat as well either this or the other orangey one because they just too cute <laughs> too cute together I love it I think it looks super fun I think I'm gonna just leave them and I just think it's I think it's just nice to actually do it a little bit different to what's expected I guess why not to I hope Tim because these are your paper dolls I hope Tim you don't mind I I'm just trying to <laughs> make it a little bit fun for everyone to smile Not, nothing personal to <clears throat> to your dolls I th just think it looks 
quite fun. <coughs> um, a little bit of a color to our beautiful vintage vintage dolls, paper dolls from Tim Holtz, if you're wondering. I think he had two or three sets, so check them out if you're looking for paper vintage dolls like that. They are so much fun. I love it. <laughs> I think it is just so much fun. I love it. Well, maybe you can tell me, Marta, this is a little bit too far all over the top or this is just wrong interpretation. Maybe it's one step too much, but I think, <laughs> I think we're responsible for our own creations and you are free to do whatever you like. And if it means to um, have a little bit of a play and fun, why not? Okay. There's still so much supplies left from this secret package. I hope I'm going to use it at some point sometime. But thank you so very much for sending this over. I really, 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 truly appreciate that. So thank you so very much, Dawn. I love it. I really had good time. And I'm glad that I could actually make... A little bit of a mixed media play because um, recently it's not that easy to <laughs> make me go for mixed media but maybe this is a turning point who knows i'm gonna wrap up with that my friends wishing you a wonderful time um enjoy your day evening afternoon whenever you're watching wherever you are it's always great to be back here to my studio chatting to you Today is my third video, um, which is huge, 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 which means that loads is coming your way for the summer. I hope to give you plenty of videos. I'm going to finish here. I love you, but I do have to go. Till the next time, happy crafting and I'll chat to you very, very soon. I love you. Bye.